Alright, this is going to be a short review of um, Deadpool and Wolverine movie that I watched. That's what's called Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> I was so stupid. I watched this movie and I can't remember the title of the movie. God. This is so sad. Deadpool and Wolverine. That's what it was. Deadpool and Wolverine. And, um... The action was great. A lot of cameos from the Fox X-Men franchise. So, um... They were great. Um... Action scenes were good. Um, I loved Wolverine being in his peak... Peak physical form, um, very muscular, very tank, like, he's got the abs and everything for a man that is 50 plus years old, he's got it, the guys, that's just insane, Hugh Jackman, the one and only Wolverine, um, the story is messy all around, that bugged me quite a lot. It didn't have the oomph that I wanted for, cause I'm not I'm not gonna watch this movie all the time anymore. Just for the cameos, just for what Deadpool and his jokes and everything. It's not gonna last very long. I, I can tell you that I'm not gonna come back to it watching multiple times. But um, I think one watch is good enough. I think coming back and watching again. For the cameos, I guess, and the Easter eggs that they have in the movie. Um, also, talking about a little bit about the MCU as well, and I want to go back to those scenes and watch it again. Um, Hollywood is just, just that, man. Blockbuster movies, a lot of action, a lot of fan service. Uh, not much, not much oomph, not much substance in the movie. There's not a lot of heart. Um, yeah, there was some emotional scenes with Wolverine talking about um, how he let down his team, and um, that's about it. Uh, Logan, the movie Logan, was more impactful was more emotional and was depressing as well because you knew what's going to happen in the end he's not going to survive and um, well, this movie is just like you don't really know if it started and you don't really know if it's actually ended or when it's going to end it doesn't really have a clear story from start start to end is just request just doing a lot of action pointless action pointless blood effects and all this stuff i mean i loved deadpool the first movie because it had a lot of like it had a lot of wall breaking sequences that was like not common in movies and um, that, that's what I really liked. It was funny. I could come back to Depot 1 and watch, watch it multiple times. It was, it's good. It's really that freaking good. Um, but with this movie, it's just like, I watch it for Wolverine and Deadpool, of course. The dog, the, the, the dog, the dog pool, and... Deadpool having a little moments together is a bit ugh, it's a bit too much man the dog licking his mouth and shit it's a bit ugh, a bit cringe it's a bit cringe and a bit too much it's a bit like R Ryan really millions of dollars you will let the dog lick your mouth and do whatever it wants to do to you for a million dollars it would do it but um yeah, well, 
there's, there's not much to the movie. Uh, I think there's all a big cash grab to make MCU come back again. I don't think this is going to reignite MCU. I think MCU was done with End Endgame, and I think that's it. That this, this is not going to make it better. I don't think it is. It's all to make money, and that's what the fans wanted. And this, it's not like after this movie, other MCU movies are going to be better than not. It's not going to be like that. This seems like a fan service only thing that they want to do, and they did it. Because it's MCU. And it's not even M MCU movie, really. The only MCU thing is with the TVA. That's the only relevance to it. Most of it, it's all about the Fox characters. The Fox established X-Men franchise. And, um... It's, it mostly connects with them. There's no MCU characters interacting with them at all. So... Yeah, it's, it's it's a bit of a letdown in that in that regard. But and yeah, that's it. Um, I thought this going movie was gonna be better. I thought it was gonna fulfill my expectations, but it didn't. I think it's overhyped. I think like. They want to have more action, no story, and um, and just pure fan service. That's it. Just going for the cameos, the fight scenes. That's it. That's it, really. Um, there's not anything special to the movie at all. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with these characters going forward. Are they going to put into the MCU? Um, what they're doing, actually. Was this just a send-off for the Fox characters? And be like, one and done, that's it? I don't know what they're doing with these guys. So, I don't know. I didn't like that much. Um, it was okay. Nothing special. Nothing fantastic. Um, I've seen better Endgame. I've seen so many superhero movies that I'm kind of like sick of it. I'm just like, I'm done now. I'm done with superhero movies. I mean, if if they can make a Superman movie and establish his character, his strength, what he stands for, and, and establish that in movies, rather than just making stupid... <sighs> stupid movies that are made in DCEU... Um, if they can, if they can do that in super, super, Superman movies, then I would go and watch that. But yeah, anyways, yeah, um, it it might make, I think it'll make a billion, a bit more than a billion, but I don't know about two billion, two billion, and then this whole world is fucked. I sort of got, I lost hope to the world. People just want to be entertained easily by pointless action and stupid jokes that are cringy. And yeah, they're, they're funny. Like once you hear them, if you're gonna hear them again, it's not gonna it's not gonna be the same effect anymore. You're just gonna oh okay, well, wow. okay, I'm done. That was that. They're not like laugh out loud hilariously. Good jokes, they're not. Um, so, that's my opinion. So, go in there, watch if you want. Uh, watch if you love Hugh Jackman. <laughs> um, and they make many wall breaking jokes, which is pretty cool. But, it's okay. I give it like a 3 out of 5. A 3 out of 5. Or 2.5 out of 5. I'm going to have 3. Just because of Hugh Jackman and Deadpool. I mean Wolverine and Deadpool. Because they're in it. 
and I saw Wolverine in his prime, literally in his prime. The best Wolverine is in in this movie, actually. So they say he's the he's the worst Wolverine, but his physical form, his power, his um, abilities are are true here. They're like pure pure Wolverine. So. That's my review. Thanks for thanks for watching this and um peace out.